What's going on everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now in today's video I have a video which was actually requested of me one time a few months ago and another time just recently, I think in my last video I got a comment from some guy wanting to save it so what I'm going to be going through today is my uh, level 1000 and mp30 uh, class setups and score streaks and pretty much all stuff like that because it's been requested um, what I use on stream, I've got commands like if you're going to be streaming type for example, exclamation mark like CUDA, it'll give me CUDA class setup, man of war, M87, it works like that. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my class setup so if you ever need anything just come back to this video and it'll be there. So first off is the uh, CUDA class, the main CUDA class, this is what I mainly use on this account. This and a man of war for me for the two guns of the game as well as the M8 so I use that a lot and um, what you'll notice is in my I always use a C4, I'm one of them pricks who always has to use C4. I always use Afterburner and Scavenger, and it depends if I have enough space for fast hands, I'll put fast hands on too. But I believe the best uh, class of an unsuppressed CUDA is Rapid Fire Extended and Fast Mags. I'll use this on like Nuketown and maybe Combine, where it's more of a fast paced map and I need to reload a lot. Uh, Shave, I've just been using recently just because I, um, I want to actually try and get a gameplay with it, and I know it's an absolute machine with Rapid Fire, so I just need to get it up there because I caught it was like. I think I didn't use this much, I didn't even have grip for it, I don't think, so I needed to really level that weapon up. Uh, this is one of me, I've got two M87 classes, just depend on different maps and stuff like that, so there's that. I do have two, sometimes I do have two classes of different, like the same gun. This is a high caliber, fast mags, and stock. I'll, you'll see, uh, if it's a secondary, I'll always use an RK5. I don't like the MR6, I don't like the LK9, so I think the RK5 is a hell of a pistol and I really do enjoy it. After burning scavenger with this one, and sometimes I do struggle to play about fast hands because that's one of my pet hates about COD, it's slow sprint all time. So, I don't know, some, if I'm not really feeling it with this one, I use me over M87 class, but uh, another class I've been using recently is the BRM inspiration of Lucky Girl because I mean, it's an absolute machine to be fair. Once you get rapid fire on this, it's just it's a completely different gun. Like you wouldn't believe it's the same gun with and without rapid fire. It's absolutely ridiculous. It can shred through kids. Uh, me other cuter class that was fast mag stock and suppressor, and I use this on other maps like maybe it's infection or stronghold or something. Well I'll see it at the edges of a map. But this is a really it, like I don't know with rapid fire, it doesn't need to work with suppressor for whatever stupid reason that may be, it's just I don't like it with suppressor. But that's just me. Uh, now me TDM class that it was a man of war with just reflex quick draw and stock. Normally I would use fast uh, fast mags in game was like domination, hardpoint, capture the flag, uplink. So when I'm gonna be reloading a lot, I'll use fast mags. But in TDM it's not really that action packed, so I think I don't need to reload as much. So I just keep quick draw and stock on there. You'll see a trend with assault rifles and most SMGs that I have stock on it, and that's just me for this game. I can't really play without stock. So again, after burn a fast hand scavenger, C4, you can use reflex or elo, it doesn't really matter, it's just whatever you prefer, but I prefer reflex on the man of war. Now this is with me of M87 class, and this is one I, uh, this and this is what I use against tryhards as well. Now what, like you might think, oh what, what about rapid fire, what about fast mags, high caliber? Honestly, I'm not that kind of scummy person to use high caliber and rapid fire against people. I know they use it against me, and I probably would sometimes get more success if I used it back against them, but I don't know, I prefer aiming in fast, like snapping on a target, using quick draw and fast hands, rather than taking off maybe his quick draw and using like rapid fire. I don't know if this is what works for me, but this is just my classes for me. I'm not, just because they work for me, does not mean at all they will work for you. You ask me over M87, just quick draw reflex stock. It's it's kind of like a GB class that are without the C4, but that's how I like to think of it anyway. Again, sweat, so this is just a great normal class setup of the M87. Um, now, I don't use the VMP much anymore because with nerf of reload speed, it's incredibly slow, and I'm not really a fan of it. But if I was to use a VMP, this is what I've been using all year since like uh, the very first time I actually started to like, want to be good at this game. I started using VMP a lot then, and I used always fast mag grip and stock, but with butchered the reload speed on this game, it reloads ridiculously slow, so I don't use it much anymore. Now, this is me other Man of War class for playing like Domination or Uplink or Hardpoint or anything like that with fast mag, and just took off fast hands for that. Like, yeah, I don't know, like you can compromise with sprint out time sometimes, you've got to hit a revolver time, it doesn't really matter about sprint out because you should be aiming downside to hit your target anyway, since you've got to hit him in this guy. But, uh, this is what I use for like fast rushing modes. 
and this is me searching the story class. Uh, quick draw, stock and reflex again, and RK5. And that's gonna be person to use C4 and search because I'm just that kind of person. Dead silence, fast hand, scound, uh, afterburner, sorry, and have one spot left, so I'll either use extended mags or long barrel on the RK5, but that's just me. So that was my. Oh, uh, I normally use the Tempest as well. I either use Tempest, Scythe, X, sometimes Purifier, but I really do hate the Purifier, it does my head in. But that's, that is my BO3 classes and I'll switch to the IW ones now. Right, now I want to be IW classes so I'll just get right into it. Now first, uh, I, I should, as if you watch me, if you watch my streams, watch my gameplay, you should know I only use uh, Combat Focus. Well 90% of the time I only use Combat Focus and Synaptic really pisses me off. I, I could honestly rant about Synaptic all day, I'm not going to, but if I'm going to go for any rigs it'll be combat focus and resupply or when I play hardcore only on Genesis. I only have ever used this on Genesis is Merc and Reactive Armor. I don't I have used Synaptic before when I've been forced to because of sweats using it, but ninety percent of the time, ninety nine percent of the time I'll be using Warfighter. And my first class setup is for N V four on hardcore. Um I, this is what my go to for hardcore. Now core it's a different story. I have an N V four core class setup there for below. But um like like in BO3 I'll use a lot of the same perks and attachments. I you'll always see personal radar, dexterity, hardline scavenger and maybe hardwired if I have enough space for it. I'll, you'll always see quick draw. I can't I don't play this game about quick draw. 90% of the time I see ELO and extender mags as well if it's for a ballistic gun. So a laser gun that's slightly different, but like with IW all classes are pretty much the same. Like the <laughs> literally pretty much the same except the gun. Uh, so my MV4 is just quick draw, extended mags and elo for hardcore, I feel as if it's worked the best for me. Now I don't need stock on this game like I need stock on BO3, I can play this game without stock and actually I'll play worse with stock. So this game I don't need stock at all. Now my K-Bar class setup is normally either quick draw, suppressor and extender mags that I've got set up here or I'll put an elo on and I'll use hardwired. Uh, so that's my uh, K-Bar class setup, I'll just put it back to what it was. Uh, the raw second best gun of the game just after the titan is a uh, quick draw grip and suppressor and elo for some reason i cannot use a raw or a grip and i really wish i could do because i would love to have like dexterity or blind eye and hardwired on this class but i just can't because i can't use it without grip you need quick draw on this game and who doesn't use a suppressor come on it's iw so i'm gonna use them personal radars because i play as combat focus resupply i might as well throw them on it means if i don't have an advanced up or my teammates are too shit to get an advanced to have a personal radar there to see Give me map awareness and see where people are. I always use hardline because I love getting my streaks faster and obviously I'll need scavenger to go on streaks to get my ammunition so I don't have to use some kids like Varix 3 or whatever, like a Scout FHR 40 or someone that I'll find on the floor. Uh, Maxov is actually a very underrated gun on this game. Yeah, not many people use it but like it is really good. Like the accuracy could be a little bit better but like a 48 bullets with extender mag, uh, quick draw. Aims in really fast, the suppressor just melts people. It's actually got a more one shot kill range from the NV4, so if you're playing hardcore, definitely use, consider a MACTAV for hardcore as well. If I'm ever going to run a perk one, I'll use dexterity. I have a massive uh, grudge against Ghost. I think if you use Ghost, it just makes the game far too easy, but that's a complete, I could rant above that I was as a cut of Synaptic. Hardline scavenger again and a personal radar. Now, what I say is a little bit different. Like, you need a pile of attachments on this gun, and I mean pile, like, you need a pile of attachments on this gun to make it good. I always use quick draw, like I said, it's my playstyle. Grip, this thing kicks like a bitch. You need extender mags because of it. the fire rate is absolutely ridiculous, so you need extender mags, in my opinion. And I use suppressor on mostly everything where I can do because I feel as if it fits this game better. Uh, dexterity and scavenger. I don't have hardline on this. Now, I could. But hardline on takes scavenger off and plays synaptic, but I'm not that scummy kind of person, so I'll prefer scavenger and signal my combat focus. So that's my OSA one. Now the core for the NV4 is pretty much the hardcore one with out dexterity and hardwired and a suppressor. Still quick draw extender mags now. I feel as if I don't need dexterity with the NV4 in core for some reason, but I do in hardcore because like in hardcore you always need to be like aware, you always need to be like on it just in case to fight a gunfight if some kid flies around the corner obviously in hardcore you one shot so you need to be ready to get my first bullet in before the enemies can now this class setup is you might think Jack why why have you got a hornet that's a secondary weapon you should you should be using that if you've got one slot left now no this thing does not feel like a secondary weapon this feels like a goddamn SMG this is absolutely ridiculous yeah I've got a couple of gameplays on my channel already showcasing this hornet and it's absolutely unbelievable it feels like I'd say it feels like the FHR, 
but with like a little bit more recoil, less bullet like less bullets in a mag, but I think it just melts people. I could use this gun all day, I love this thing. Definitely give it a try. I use suppressor, extended mags and rifle barrel because it feels if the range on it is absolutely terrible. You could throw a hollow point on, that might be a good choice, but for me, I prefer suppressor, extended mag and rifle barrel. Now, uh, Jay's favourite gun, Oblivion Eyes or Tiny Headed Bear, this, the Orga. Absolutely, this is ridiculous. Like, quick draw, extender mag, foreground, and the variant I use called the Pulverizer, it double kills instantly reload your magazine, so you will not need uh, dexterity because if you get a double kill, you back up to 120 ammo or whatever's in this thing. You can free bullet kids with this at close range, so, and I think you're four bullet kids at long range, so it's overall just an absolutely ridiculous gun. Uh, then my favourite gun in the game, the absolute god gun, the Titan. Quick draw, suppressor, elo, all you need. Now I've got blind eye on this because um, normally I pull this out if I'm having a bad day or I'm getting banged. So if I have like wardens or sentry guns or talons or um, micro turrets or anything on that list, I'll pull this out. Now I hate being counter UAV, I hate being like having jammers thrown at me, pulls out all that. So I use hardwired for that reason because I hate everything what hardware your counters so I always put that on and I've got this one the kid thinks he's good now this is for the average uh, 2.4 kd synaptic titan raw a raw abusing little prick what will enter my lobby now for this I will use synaptic and like I know about most players on this game no offense to anyone at all I don't have beef but I know most players on this game use Synaptic, use a K-Bar and a Titan, a Raw or an Auger. I know that is 90% of people's playstyle. Now I hate on Synaptic a lot but I only hate on the people who use Synaptic who can't play without it. Like for example, people who can only play with Synaptic but if you give them combat focus they'll get banged. Now I know most people play with Synaptic on this game so if I am, if I do want to run into like a 3 man or a 2 man or like 3 KDs, I want to play them, I love challenge. I want to prove that I can play good players, so I'll stay. But I'll use this, and I'll use Synaptic myself. Because, to be honest, I'm done proving to people that I can play without Synaptic. I've played Combat Focus for 83,000 kills on this account, and about 60,000 kills on the other one. I've played far too much to tell, like, know that I can play without Synaptic on IW. So this class is just there if we match against Sweats, if I'm in a 6v6 or something, I'll probably use this because it's the best gun on the game. Ghost, because everyone uses a ghost against me, so I might as well use Ghost back. Blind Eye, if I do get a Warden or anything, I can stay into that. Hardline to get me streaks faster. And actually, I'll tweak that a little bit. I'll throw on the, I'd use the Titan Warden because you get 10 more score per kill, so in fact, 10 more score could be vital. If you're like 10 off a Warden against a team, the Warden could like tilt the game in your favour. So that's what I use for against sweats and hardwired again just so uh can't UAVs, Trojans, like tracker stuff like that. That annoying stuff is counter by that. Now score streaks I'll normally use for UAV pack rat and then only in ground war I use kickback because like, you get more assist points from your team. And uh, ground war obviously you got more teammates so I use the kickback and ground war but the pack rat and everything else. And either the warden goliath or the counter UAV Nova because that is like a power core. And I always use the advanced UAV Overseer. Now I believe that's everything on this account. Uh, shall we brutals? 1060 on this account, but it was 400 on it when I got it, and I got 600 on the other one. So it adds up to about 1000. No, actually, I think I got about 700 on this account. Yeah, so it adds up to about the amount of new account I do have is about 1200 plus. Probably is a little bit more, but I'm being generous there. I think that's all uh, to do class setups on this game on BO3, so like I said, this video was actually requested by people, so there you go, there's a video, I hope it did help people out, if you do want to go and try any more classes, just let me know, but if you do use any of these and get good gameplays, I'd love to know about it, so comment in this uh, comment section below if you did use this gun, and what you thought of it, and tell me which class that'll be used. Uh, I think that's about it, so thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one, peace.